So it's the 27th of October 2023 and I'm here with a Fairlight Series 3 computer musical instrument and I've just found through Spencer Lee in Australia um, a sound library of over 120 multi-sampled instruments which were recorded at basically in EMI Studios in Sydney in 1985 to 1986 and were meant to be released as part of the sound library but for some reason they were never released so we've just found it all these years later and um, this sound is a clarinet sound and it's played in the style of Benny Goodman so it's a multi sample I'm just going to hit uh, sample record which is F13 and pop them in there we go Fantastic. Okay, so that's gone in, and uh, as soon as that's finished, we'll go to the Wave Edit page, and uh, we'll just take out the little bits of silence at the beginning and at the end. There, the multi samples. So to grab the sample start, just pick up that. Then to go to the end, you could just zoom in by using these two displays and the little stylus XY pad stylus here there we are that's the voice end now we just trim it which is F6 now I'm going to uh, shift you can see there's a little offset DC offset of minus 643 samples so what it's doing now is it's just shifting that so that the zero volts is in the center of the waveform and now just type G which is now basically normalizing it so we're using all 16 bits of information then voice save because this has got a microprocessor in itself you can queue up pre-queue 30 or 40 commands so while the machine is doing something that kind of takes a bit of time you can be planning your next moves so we'll just save that after it's gained it to maximum and then after it saved it, I've just um, hit F10. So all these icons relate to each one of these function keys. It's slightly not quite working on this flat screen, but that's an ear for, for number 10. And you hit that, and it will play it back straight away. So you can hear it without a keyboard. Um, you've got scrubbing mode there, so you can actually scrub. Um, then you've got um, some looping commands, trimming fading, there we are, now it's playing it back it's already sampled it and then we can go and look at the directory page just check it's gone onto the hard drive in this case this is modified, we're not using the old 60 megabyte max tour hard drives, we're using a micro, uh, micro SD card which is running the show so that's one of these so the entire system and all the sound libraries are on one of these little babies, which is incredible. And there are lots of backups, and there are some other sounds that we found in the lost sound library. This is a lovely one here. If we go to the Andes pipes, we just query that, and we hit F10. Whoa! Lots of breath. Very nice. Then you get the multi sample in there. Then you go to the effects page where you can start separating out um, these into individual keys, individual keys, and then mapping them on the keyboard. And then you've got all the things that you find in a, a normal synth like filter, uh, touch sensitivity, you've got um, panning if it's stereo, you've got the ADSR. You've got tremolo. Uh, tremolo is brilliant, and the vibrato. You've got the 
the rate, the depth, how quickly it comes in, the attack and the delay before it actually starts. You've got forward and backward looping, glissandos, and that's for the whole voice and then each sample will have a, its own very complex, uh, well, c comprehensive ADSR. We've got loop and decay, got sustain, uh, got resonance and filters, reverse loop, alternative loop goes the other way and there's something called a slur which is very interesting indeed. So that's um, yeah, a little bit of sampling of a new sound library which we hope to release soon to any surviving Fairlight Series 3 machines. I think in this country there are only seven. There were originally in the UK 55 or 56. There are only six I think that work at the moment in this country so they'll all get a free sound library. Hopefully by Christmas. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.